That is beautiful walleye. Fishing the Midwest is presented by G3 Boats. G3 Boats, a great catch. Strike King, tie one on. Lose, feel the difference. And relevant sunglasses, abandon everything. Embrace the outdoors. Hi, welcome to Fishing the Midwest. I'm Mike Frisch. Thanks for joining us today. I'm at Hannay's Marine. Now, Hannay's has an awesome selection of new and used boats, but they've also got a great service department and a parts department that's second to none as well. Speaking of second to none, today we're going to one of the best walleye fisheries in the world, Upper Red Lake. It's early ice, we're chasing walleyes, we're with John Crane, it's gonna be a lot of fun. After that, we're chasing largemouth bass with Shane Gazelle. But first, let's get on the ice with my buddy JC, and let's catch some Red Lake walleyes. Red Lake is known for a hot early ice walleye bite using digging spoons. However, a severe front might make the fish finicky and so do nothing rigs. Minnows, fish below bobbers, will probably be players too. Fish on! It's a walleye. It's a really, really active walleye. Come on, buddy. There you go. It's the first fish of the season. That's a good way to start. On the Ice Buster Bobber. God, they're fat. Ha, that's fun stuff. First fish of the year. That's probably a you know, 15, 16 incher. We're on the board. You know, I'm a big fan of Red Lake Early Ice. It, it's always so exciting, you know, we work these sports shows, we go hunting, we get ready all fall. The anticipation of Red Lake is just something that, you know, I've looked forward to since I've been young and, and just coming up here and, and just the, the anticipation of first ice. It's, you check out all your equipment, your Vexilar, your heaters. So uh, just love coming to Red Lake. Up, JC. Yep, yep. Little Red Lake right Little there. Little ready. There's one for the future there. Well, it's good to see some of those though. Absolutely. We came out with the, the leech spoon like six years ago or so, and that, that's the ultimate flutter uh, spoon or so we thought at the time, but now we took that, that leech spoon and made it a thin cut ribbon leech spoon made out of zinc alloy. It's cupped on both ends, so it really flutters. Ooh. As one of my mentors, Bob Jensen, would say, fun stuff. Ooh. I'll guarantee you, this one is bigger than the last one. It's not ready yet. <laughs> Kale first, but it worked. Oh, that's a good one there. That is a good one. So, we're jigging. I'm jigging that new ribbon leech flutter spoon. And having some fish come in, but we are on the back side of the first severe cold front of the winter. I mean, this morning on the way up, Temperature was nine degrees below zero. That's below zero, minus nine. And so this is the first really strong cold front of the winter, which is good because we're making ice, but typically it doesn't help the bite to, on the backside of a front high pressure. And in these conditions, sometimes they won't eat the jig quite as good as they normally do, but they'll eat just a plain minnow on a hook under an ice buster bobber. That's good fish there. 
Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park. Hanay's Marine. There are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanay's Marine. Clam Pro Tackle and Blackfish, because you can't choose the weather. Inspired, pro designed, tested and proven by legends on the water, dominating the tournament trail for over 50 years. Everything you need, one legendary brand. Strike King. Strike King products are available at these fine retailers. Christopherson's Bait, Omnia Fishing, Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters, and many other retailers across the Midwest. Hannay's Marine has a huge selection of boats, pontoons, and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced team will help you select from industry-leading boat manufacturers, including G3, Basscat, Stingray, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Crest and Suncatcher. Don't get left on the shore. Shop Hannay's to experience more. Visit www.hannaysmarine.com today. Your boat, your memories, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available in many of the full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class and so are all of the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Lake Cabotogama in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Here at Diamond Buick GMC of Alexandria, we have a simple goal for your new or used vehicle buying experience, customer satisfaction. Our friendly, knowledgeable sales staff will work with you in a no-pressure, hassle-free environment. We also have an accommodating service department that will work hard after the sale to guarantee your continued satisfaction. Family owned and serving Alexandria and all of West Central Minnesota for over 25 years. Visit us in Alexandria at Diamond Buick GMC and experience the diamond difference. Closed captioning on Fishing the Midwest is provided by Offshore Tackle, your leader in trolling technology. So far, and here's the key, lightly by the dorsal. I don't want to get too deep into his body and kill the minnow. Fresh, lively minnow hooked like that has kind of been the key so far. Today we're fishing with John Crane. Now John Crane is the lure designer for Clam Pro Tackle. Of course, John recently developed the Tika Minnow, which we've had a lot of success with last winter. And today we're gonna to try the new Ribbon Leech Flutter Spoon. But with this front, we also think we're gonna to have to use some bobbers. The do-nothing rig, just a minnow on a plain hook under a bobber. In addition to lightly hooking the minnow, the Ice Buster bobber is designed so you can actually shorten the bobber. And what I like to do is pinch some of the top of the bobber off so that it barely floats. How come? Because a barely floating bobber will slide easily under the water. And when the fish aren't real aggressive, they're a bit spooky like they are today, that light resistance is what it takes to get them to actually commit to that bait. There he is. What do we got here? I think it's another one of those slot fish that we can eat if we want. God, when they get to the hole, they do not. 
Look at that. The fish isn't very big either. <laughs> that fish, not real big, but he just took a pretty good sized fat head and it is simply gone. Even though most of our fish are coming on the bobber rigs, a Vexlar sonar is still important. How come? Because we know when there's fish in the area, we see them come up to the jig, and that puts us on high alert. We're ready for that bobber to slide under. That ribbon leak spoon today, and uh, we've got it in three sizes, 16th, eighth, and quarter. I've got the eighth ounce size on today. And when I first lower down, I've got nothing on my Vexlar. I'm jigging fairly aggressively, okay? We're trying to get them to come into their cone angle. Uh, after they do come in there, that ribbon leech spoon, I mark them on my Vexlar. Definitely want to slow down, no large strokes. We're just giving it small, hold it in place, jiggle, just like you're jiggling a, a tungsten jig. Oh, he crushed that ribbon leech spoon. It's all the way down the hatch. Did he really? Yeah. I'm gonna need the hook out for that thing. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, that didn't take long. <laughs> oh, he it, just chowed it. It's hard to beat There's a, a spoon in there. <laughs> it's hard to beat a good uh, jigging spoon blade. Like, oh, here's one in here now too. No way. No. See, there's always more than one in a school. Yep. That's why you gotta capitalize and get back down there, huh? Oh yeah, way down the gullet. Gone. That's a perfect eater, Mike. Yeah, that is. Yep. Nice. When you're ice fishing, another thing that's important is the right rod and reel. Now, Clam's got a new jigging rod out. Let's hear from JC of what he likes about that. We've got the, the carbon scepter here, and it's a, a 30 inch model, a little bit longer. I like a little longer rods, 30, 32s. And uh, just get that sensitive tip. Uh, to feel a leech, you know, flutter spoon, it is, it is a light spoon. John Crane designed the Tika Minnow. Now the Tika Minnow took the ice fishing world by storm last year. How come? It's a fish catching machine. Today these fish aren't that interested in jigs, but boy, we had some awesome catches up here last year on the Tika Minnow. Let's take a look at a little bit of that action. Here, Mr. Deucer. I'm wrapped around, I think. <sighs> Got lucky there. <laughs> hey, JC. Yo. Who developed that Tika Minnow? I don't know. <laughs> Gotta do it the hard way. <laughs> Look at that. That's a pretty nice double. Double up, Tika yeah. Minnow. Good eaters right there. I got there. the same color that you got. Do you really? Right? Yep. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Alexandria, Minnesota, the Alexandria Lakes area, Minnesota's hidden gem, with 350 lakes conveniently located in the heart of Minnesota. Diamond Buick GMC. Experience the diamond difference. Superior industry. Visit workatsuperior.com to see why they're one of the fastest growing manufacturing employers in the upper Midwest. And by Minn Kota. And Hummingbird. Simply, clearly better. Alexandria, Minnesota is a multi-season, multi-species fishing hotspot with more than 300 lakes to fish, world-renowned bass fishing, booming walleye populations, and top panfish and muskie opportunities make Alexandria an angler's dream destination. Plus, Alexandria has a vibrant downtown, great golf courses, miles of ski, snowmobile, and bike trails, and fantastic dining and lodging options. If you're looking for great fishing and family fun, consider Alexandria, Minnesota for your next vacation. products are available at these fine retailers. Christofferson's Bait, Omnia Fishing, Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters, and many other retailers across the Midwest. 
Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border is an awesome open water fishing destination. Wow. Having no closed fishing season, the lake's walleyes take center stage at ice out and into summer. And of course, Big Stone's robust perch population offers great summer and fall fishing too. Plus, the Big Stone area is a friendly, welcoming community with all the amenities needed to make your vacation memorable. Consider Big Stone Lake for your next fishing adventure. Only K-Drill is designed specifically for a cordless, brushless drill. High carbon steel chipper blade system with a thermal wrap flighting design means less impact and stress on your drill. The K-Drill will just keep cutting holes long after the competition fails. The K-Drill is durable, built to last with free lifetime blade sharpening. The K-Drill comes in three sizes with extensions available. Whether you're running and gunning or cutting open old holes, the K-Drill revolutionizes ice fishing. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Plus, they handle all your granite and quartz needs. There is no job too small or too large, whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more. Distinctive Cabinet can do the job for you. Visit the website to know more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Shane Gazelle is one of Fishing the Midwest's producers, but he's also a top-notch, multi-species angler. In fact, I call Shane the natural. We got together one morning last summer and used various lures to catch largemouth bass. Eventually, Shane figured out that a unique retrieve with a vibrating jig would trigger more and bigger bites. Here's that story. Good one. Good start at least, I think. I got started today uh, throwing the Thunder Cricket uh, bladed jig by striking and first or second cast I got bit. Yeah, that one will work to start. Darn right. Nice. Good yeah. job. Choked it. He did eat it, didn't he? <clears throat> yeah, he did. Huh. What are you throwing? Thunder Cricket. Thunder Cricket. What do you got, Mike? I got a large mouth Shane and he's barely hooked. I saw him. Looks like a pretty decent one there yep. too. He's oh, got yeah. he's got one of the front trebles is all, see that? Yep. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a better one. He had it a little better than I thought. Yeah, those good hooks on that square bill though. There are. Hey, hang on. That's pretty good fish right there. We're getting some fish. Uh, we're making long casts, slow retrieves. Again, these fish hopefully are up on top of these flats early in the morning, still feeding. We're trying to take advantage of that. Yep. Nice. Yeah, this feels like a really good one here. Yep. You want my assistance? Can you I get? I think I got it. Yeah, that's a good one there, Shane. That's a decent one. That's not yeah, good. Good. Yeah, we'll take them like that all day. Oh yeah. If I can get a hold of them here. Nice. So Shane and I are using a one-two punch. Shane's throwing the bladed jig, he's throwing the thunder cricket with a blade minnow, and I'm actually throwing a KBD 2.5. And again, we're covering water looking for active fish. Do. She's pulling the boat, hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's pulling us off our spot. That's all right, as long as she pulls us in deep water. Yep. Ooh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Ah, there you go. Woo! That's Shane. What we're after there you there. go. Look at that one. Oh yeah. Nice. Thank you, sir. Nice. That's a yeah, tank. That is a big one there. That's a big fit. That's a four pounder. Don't oh you yeah, think? I think so. Yeah. So Shane, you can fish different lines. Some guys like mono, some like braid. You like the floral. How come? Why are you using floral? Well, I mean, with fluorocarbon, obviously you get your invisibility, which around here we like that a lot. In clear water. Exactly. Yep. That fish came as Shane's bladed jig is dropping in. He likes to retrieve and kill his retrieve so it actually drops in and some of these fish are actually coming then. Kind of sensing that this moving bait is dying at least a little bit for me, I pick up a big jig, a, a hack attack jig with a rage craw. Oh, 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 that looks like he's a not good bad. One. When I saw you get bit, you switched Letting that up, bladed didn't you? jig fall in there. Yeah. I thought maybe that hack attack. Oh, that's a chunk there, huh? Mike. That'll work. That's what. That is exactly what we're after. Yep. 
that hack attack floral jig and a rage craw. When they're biting it on the fall, it's hard to beat that. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs and your granite and quartz needs too. Vexilar, own the ice with Vexilar. K-Drill ice augers, drilling ice will never be the same. And by Big Stone Lake Tourism, Minnesota's hottest perch lake. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose outerwear that works. Technical apparel. Rain gear. Soft shelves. Sunwear. When you need to stay comfortable all day, choose Blackfish, because you can't choose the weather. I started as a machine operator and am now a customer account manager. I started out as a machinist and now I'm the VP of manufacturing. I started out in field service and now I work as a territory manager. Clean, safe environments. All experience levels open. Paid training provided. Visit workatsuperior.com to apply. That's workatsuperior.com. Pro inspired. Pro designed, tested and proven by legends on the water, dominating the tournament trail for over 50 years. Everything you need, one legendary brand, Strike King. Strike King products are available at these fine retailers. Christofferson's Bait, Omnia Fishing, Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters, and many other retailers across the Midwest. Amazing, nothing better. It flat out allows me to catch more fish. Power steering and spot lock have revolutionized what we're doing on the lake now. Faster response times when when steering. A spot lock. Man, it's second to none. Game changer. A game changer. Game changer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one, Mike. That's the one we're after right there. Oh, look at that bass. That's a giant. Unless he gets smaller when he gets closer, but. I don't think this one's going to do that. No, he's keeping going. Keep going. He's coming to you. Nice, nice. There we go. There we go. Woo! That's yes. a toad. That is a toad. Wow. That's that, yes, Good sir. Good job. Nice, there you go, Shane. That's a toad. That was up there too, that wasn't was it? way up there, end of the cast again. End of the cast, on the drop. On the drop, just fell in there and he ate it. Yep. One of the reasons I was able to get bit so well today is that it had a lot to do with my retrieve. If I'm just casting, I'm just retrieving, I'm not gonna get bit nearly as much. It had a lot to do with the fall of the bait, me killing the bait, so it's mimicking a wounded bait fish. Um, if I wasn't doing that, I don't think I'd cut half the fish I did today. Let's take a quick break from the fishing to check out this week's Hummingbird Hint. I get asked a lot about when I use my Mega 360 imaging. I use it a ton when I'm bass fishing. How come? Because it allows me to draw or see a 360 view around the boat. I can see pockets and turns and weed lines. I can see maybe falling trees. I can see rocks. Little structural elements out around the boat that might hold a bass. I can clearly see with 360 imaging and then I can cast to them. 
360 imaging helps me maximize my catch when I'm bass fishing. Sight fish that Sight one, Mike. Sight fish that one. <laughs> usually, usually when you see them like that, they spook. Not Polarized that. sunglasses right there. Another key to today's success is being able to identify the high percentage area is in the weeds. As we get up shallower, yes, I'm using my depth finder, but I'm also using my relevant sunglasses. These sunglasses allow me to see the cover, see the weeds. I can see the pockets where I want to put my bait. Plus, the relevant glasses are super comfortable and they're stylish too. Yeah, he's not bad. He's a feisty one. He is. He's not that bad, but... Not a bad one, He's though. He's a scrapper. That's a chunk. Yeah, that's a chunk there, too. Here, boy. He just got off, Shane. He's in the boat already. That's He's all that matters. He counts. It counts. So, Shane, today, I'm going to get him back. He's bleeding bad. That's a chunk. Yeah, Thank it you. is. So, Shane, we're fishing these new Team Louie Signature Series bass rods. I'm fishing a this rod designed by Greg Hackney. It's a 7-Eleven flipping stick for 7 feet 11 inches. It handles really well. It's light. It balances well. Sensitive. You're fishing that Andy Montgomery rod, and you work at a bait shop where you sell rods, and you told me you're pretty impressed with these, aren't you? Yeah, that's right, Mike. I've been super impressed, and I'm just getting my hands on these for the first time. But like you said, I've, I sell rods. I fish with a lot of different rods, and... I, I'm nothing short of impressed with these so far. I mean, extremely lightweight. I mean, I could fish this all day long. I'm not going to get tired. A little feisty guy here, it looks like. Feisty guy. Inhaled a thunder cricket. A little chunk. Yep. A little belly there. Feel. It feels like a big oh, old bass. Oh, that's a big one there, Mike. How about I take them right to you? That works for me, if I can get them. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. <laughs> we That's got on a school, chunk. didn't we? Yeah, we did. Well, there you are, sir. Thank you. You get around some coontail. That's a three pounder. And you drop a jig, a bladed jig, or a hack attack on them. This time of the year, the odds are pretty good you're gonna get bit. God, that's fun. Well, there you have it, folks, a one-two combination, moving baits in the morning, and then as the day warmed up and the sun got higher, we went to the jig, and Shane, yeah, he can catch him. It was a good day. Hey, from all of us at Fish in the Midwest, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time, and as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure. Detailing of Fishing the Midwest boats and vehicles provided by Sanford Marine and Auto Detailing.